What is up fellow human beings? I just took care of myself like you can see on my dead looking hair And of course I'm bare naked Psych! I'll be having the towel so keep it down in the DMs And what do you think? I'm weird or something Clearly I'm not Need to take care of this situation right over here And you know what is really unfortunate as well for me? Like I go to the sunbed really regularly And my skin looks like the inside of a fish tank But let's stop the self banter before I go into cry And go to my bed in the fetus position Take on some clothes and go through my day Not gonna lie people, but pretty late start of the day So I baked an additional 4 hash browns on the side In total, this breakfast is this amount of macros right over here And this dip that you see right over here is a tartare dip, but zero calories Black coffee like usual, 700 milliliters of water on the side Like always, I tag team my nutrition with this combo right over here Which is vitamin D3, some multivitamins and omega-3 essential fish oils I take these additional supplements because I have the feeling that my body needs it I did a test and my body reacts really good to it I got more energy, feel a lot better in my skin Oh, and by the way, if you want to try this meal out I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the description down below And we are running pretty late man Because it is now 11.30 in the noon I woke up at 7 and first did some posing and I drank another black cup of coffee my first one this is actually my second one so don't judge me I can't handle a lot of caffeine so calm down and I was normally planning to go to the coffee shop in my city and do some work right over there I'm gonna reverse that I probably do that later in the day because I have a lot of things to do I have some work that I need to do for my parents and for some clients but yeah people I'm gonna enjoy this delicious breakfast and I see you when things get interesting again For a random workout, it was a pretty good workout to be honest And I also did some max incline walks on like medium tempo Just was walking like a very elegant orange sissy go with the hands on the hips I need to go to the shops very quick because I forgot one ingredient But I'm gonna put my t-shirt back on otherwise they would think I'm a pervert or a douchebag So yeah, that's basically it And we eventually made it in coffee house Easy I first did go home because I stink a lot Literally I was passing by my mother and my mother literally had to sit down for a second because the scent was literally unbearable And I say literally I think 2-4 times at one scent But I got a latte macchiato right over here And in this shaker bottle it's just water, nothing really special and I actually ate lunch though and it was a really really good meal I'm gonna pop a picture right over here from my lunch Oh, you wanna see how I prepare it? So, did, did you like the video? Did you subscribe to my channel? Did you put on post notifications? Well, if you didn't, you're gonna patiently wait till you do it. Did you all did it? I don't believe you. I'm gonna wait a little longer. What do you think, Ludovic? Do you think they subscribed, they liked, and they put on the post notification? Don't? Yes, they did. Okay. Then I'm gonna show you the meal preparation of this meal.
I'm gonna put the macros right over here of that lunch. To give you like a little bit of prepping update, I'm literally at the point where I don't trust my scale anymore because my scale is fluctuating tremendously, like from 72 kilograms to 73 kilograms in like one day, which is isn't possible because my cardio is the same, my diet is the same, and my steps are the same. But if I have to estimate just from looking, I think I am at 72 or maybe a little bit lower than 72 kg body fat is dropping drastically like i got two pictures over here the first one is for me seven weeks out and the second picture is the one that i was like two weeks out and the body fat is pretty much the same but i would weigh actually more than the one that i was two weeks out so i eventually gained some muscle i think and just personally i feel like up and down which is expected being in a prep and like five weeks out from a show you literally feel depleted the workouts aren't that fun anymore but the show is coming closer and closer i'm literally five weeks out for my first ever men's physique show which is just insane if i think about it but i'm really excited as well first show regional show next show is a national show belgium championships so yeah it's coming closer man it is coming closer. Decided to wear a cap for this shot, man. Because the weather changes from a warm, sunny day to a depressed, dark, I want to do 360 flip from a bridge kind of weather. That is just basically Belgian weather in a nutshell. Sipping on these good wheels. Serious, Jake? Are you drinking artificial sugar? Zero calorie Coca-Cola? Oh my God, that's so bad for you. Yeah, I'm totally gonna get cancer and all that kind of stuff just from drinking artificial sugars. Come on, bro. C come on. If you still believing in that stuff, bros, you're living in the past. This type of stuff helps me and literally changes my life, man. I drink literally three bottles per day and it doesn't hurt me, don't feel bad and actually feel a lot better. So stop complaining and drink your zero calorie beverages and thank me later. But now, oh damn, I'm about to freak out about the meals I made, man. <laughs> look at this bowl, man. It is freaking huge and look how delicious it looks, man. Look at it. What is actually in there? 250 grams of chicken, 300 grams of cauliflower rice, and 150 grams of pumpkin. And the sauce is 100 grams of sweet and sour sauce. Like brother, look at the calories. Like, it is mind-blowing good. And if you're someone like me that loves potatoes or fries, please and let me help you and take just pumpkin, man. If you are frying it or you put it in the oven, it just tastes like you're eating potatoes or like sweet potatoes. It changed your life and like for 100 grams of pumpkin, you won't believe the calories and for just 100 grams of pumpkin. These are the calories for 100 grams of pumpkin, man. And for 200 grams, look at the calories as well, man. So you can overload on these so bad and you can and it tastes just amazing if you season it right with salt pepper maybe with some garlic powder as well man it is heavy got a little bit of everything over here mm. <laughs> oh. yeah man no dapping out Listen up, man, if you don't try this, I don't know who you are, man. If you don't try this, you are literally insane. This tastes amazing. If you love sweet and sour sauce with rice and chicken, you need, no, you must try this. For the calories, you can't go wrong. And look at the volume, man. I'm prepping. You need to know I'm prepping and I can't eat this stuff. It's about making smart decisions. That's, it's all about that, man. And listen up, this is not even the end. This is my last snack of the day. Look at this, man. <laughs> Shit, man, look at, look at it. Like, at first glance, you would say, these are protein pancakes. Well, I got an example of protein pancake right, right over here with the, same, uh, uh, with the same ingredients. Like, you can see it. If you put just one little teaspoon of baking powder in your mix, you can actually make panookies. I just made that name up, it sounds great, and look at it man, you see it? Oh my god, mmm, 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 bruh, there's some chocolate sprinkles on it, like for 20 grams of chocolate sprinkles it is 80 calories, which is, oh my god, what did I do with my face man? It's like a porn or something, I like the name Panuki, it's like, 
a name from like an anime character or a hentai character or a Japanese porn star. But brother, I'm gonna put the calories of this delicious snack right over here. And if you want a more in detail video how I made these kind of pancakes or panukis, let me know in the comments and I will sure make a video for you. But this was actually it, brose. I'm gonna wrap up this video right over here because I wanna smash those meals, do some work and go to my bed to do my late night cardio. And listen up, brose. Like I said before, you need to make smart decisions when it comes to cutting and if you want a lean physique year round, you need to surely, you must need those decisions, man. High volume, low calorie fruits are the thing right now. High protein and it really helps you. To, it's, it, is, it is good for you, man. You feel a lot better even though when I'm on low calories like these are the macros from today, bro. Look at it, man. It is very low, but I, f I don't feel hungry. I don't feel sad and all that stuff just because I make those decisions. And I feel you, bros. I've been there. I did crash diet. When I was training three years and I wanted to cut, I did a 1,600 calorie diet. Bro, that is too low for me. Look, this is how I looked. I looked arguably pretty good, but in real life was just skinny, man. I lost a ton of muscle during that period. And I overdid bulking as well right over here so i know what overeating feels like i know the temptation of eating good foods and junk food i love to eat junk food i love to eat a lot and these types of adjustments just make your life a lot better and dieting a lot easier and if you're interested in a video where i do the same diet when i was looking like this let me know in the comments as well and i'll make it happen but probably after my prep. But now I'm gonna actually wrap up the video right over here. I would like to thank you a lot to watch this video again. So, if you liked this video, please give this one a like. Share this one with a friend. Put on post notifications so you can see when I drop a new video. Subscribe, for sure. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.